let's build the API call into Curator because we want to ask the asset database what's the PES ID of the machine that got uh, fished. We need to go into the asset database here. And if we were to just click here, try out, it's going to give us all the data that is, exists on the uh, on the database and so we need to do some filtering here but notice that the information is structured by a block named interfaces and then there's another block called IP addresses so what we need to do is to put here on the actual filters in here it says well the interfaces block contains IP addresses con which in turn contains the value of the machine that we actually are uh, uh, looking for. Uh, I did copy paste to minimize error. This all this stuff is uh, case sensitive. Uh, make sure that you put this uh, IP address within either single quote or double quotes. So, but notice that by doing that we get okay. This is this is the data about the the actual. Uh, or actually, I need to click try out. And when I do, I get the data about the IP address, the 203 that that. That's the machine that we want. But there's a, here a, a lot of data. This is what we want, the Big Fix Agent ID. And that's what we need to pass later onto Big Fix for, for having that machine been uh, quarantined. But we are going to be doing some parsing within the uh, Python script to extract some information. But this is probably a little too much information. We can actually make this even uh, smaller by inserting here this in, in which we only want the the properties uh, name and value pair and when we click try out that gets uh, reduced to this set of things so now we only need to parse for the big fix agent id value and, and notice how that that is building our api call right here and that's what we're going to have to you know uh, copy and paste into the python uh, python uh, script but some of the things that we need to replace, for example, are this IP address of the source IP of the machine that is going to be compromised because that's going to be a parameter being passed uh, when the when the uh, shell script, when the Python script is actually invoked. And we need to replace this, for example, which is the IP address of the uh, curator box and things like that. So let's go into the Python script. So this is the Python script that uh, Bruno Silva wrote uh, and uh, I'm going to be trying to explain it uh, without uh, knowing much about uh, Python. But this is the, the piece and I'm going to go back to the rest of, uh, of some of this stuff. But this is the, the key part that we are working right now is making a request into the, into the uh, curator asset database and we're doing a get and that's the syntax in there and notice how in here the curly braces zero is the IP address of the of the actual uh, curator box, and, and and here in the code we can see. I mean, th these are some of the libraries that Bruno used for here. Uh, used from here, for example, this one is uh, the, the request uh, uh, the library that we are using right now. And notice these are the parameters that were passed uh, when we invoke the, the the call. You know, and in here, for example, is the curator IP address. And it's called curator RIP, curator IP, IP, right? So, just as a reminder, this is the order in which we pass the parameters into uh, into the curator at the moment that we invoke the Python uh, script. So the first one is the source IP, and, 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 and so on, right? Again, the nomenclature is a bit confusing here, but the big fix asset ID is the source IP of the actual uh, machine that got uh, that got fish and that's passed as an as a network parameter and that's what we are actually uh, putting uh, right here we are passing also the uh, token uh, in order to make the security uh, valid and we are not validating the certificate that's what we put here verify equal false and here's the secure id token that we pass as one of the parameters this next line in here is actually doing a regex and that's how we parse 
uh, to get the big fix uh, agent ID, which is the part that we actually want. This BES handle the right is the way that Bruno is uh, actually logging uh, uh, all the events uh, in the logs uh, on, on Curator, uh, and then uh, we 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 after we do that uh, regex, we take the first group of the search, which is going to give us the the big fix ID, and then he does some more some more logging in here. 